Hello and welcome to the Big Comfy Sessions here at the Big Comfy Bookshop in Coventry and I'm super excited today because one of my favourite singers of the past X many years. Thanks. Mark Morris. <laughs> Thanks for the X. Thanks for coming it's very down. kind of you. I know, it's yeah. alright, my pleasure. I was passing this way anyway. Yes, you were. I've seen you on a big long tour. This seems to be going on since forever. It is an unending uh, yeah. solo venture. Yeah. I kind of liken it myself to JJ Kale's life, where he constantly toured. He was never on a yeah. on any particular name tour. It's just a constant rolling roadshow. Yeah. And I imagine that once the kids grow up, I'll just be taking the whole <laughs> house on the road with me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he did. That sounds like a dream, to be honest. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think as well. Yeah, cool. Now, you obviously, um, you are on the road. You've got Blue Tones. You've got your past solo albums. You're about to release a new solo album. Yes. A covers album. Yes. What covers album? Uh, well, uh... The story behind it is this: is uh, it's not the story behind it, but th my, my thinking was, uh, I was experiencing something of a, of a writer's block, and it had been going on for almost two years. Where I mean, writer's block—it's not like you're not writing anything, but you're not writing anything that you really like, or it's getting past your, you know, yeah. your quality test. And I was beginning to sort of get a bit antsy about it, and then I was also worrying that the whole process was keeping me away from the studio, right. and. To remedy that, I, you know, I thought, well, if I can get back in the studio at least and get the juices flowing, and so, I, I, you know, I, I hopefully it will trigger other things. And to, to my, in my, in my logic, it was a case of like um, taking other people's songs apart and then putting them back together again, and you know, in my way, yeah. would be a way of just starting to trigger things. And it and and it did. I, yeah. mean, I got about halfway through the album, and I kind of really wanted to get it finished so that I could get started on my own stuff. Right. As it were, which so uh, as an as an exercise, it worked completely for yeah, me. But you know, it was just something I wanted to do for a, a bit of fun yeah, as well. Yeah. I've always done, I've always enjoyed doing cover versions and sort of interpretations, if you will. Yeah. But um, I mean, there's been a couple on each of my solo records, mm. and then and people have responded nicely to them. So I just thought I'd do a whole record. And so if it's kickstarted your songwriting. You know, again, is this kind of like your album comes out in a month or so? Mm -hmm. Are you going to have another album out pretty soon after that? Then? No, I'm, I'm going to start working on it in about two weeks. The record literally has been finished for about two and a half weeks. Right, okay. And I'm going to take the next couple of weeks out of the studio and then go and then start back in again. Right, okay. I usually just do one or two days a week anyway. Yeah. And fit it around everything else. So it take it will take about a year. Yeah. Of Wednesdays. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now um, I ask the bookshop questions, so I'm going to ask you a book question yeah um are you a reader obviously you're on the road a lot you do a lot of music but do you get I'm a reader to you're a reader I'm a reader yeah I read as much as I uh, I can I'm, I've been a bit lazy with reading in the last 12 months or so um and the books I've I've only read a couple of books and a few graphic novels but because of all the traveling I tend to listen to a lot of audio books oh yeah and uh I particularly enjoy biographies yeah that, that's what I do as well actually I, I get especially the ones that are obviously spoken to by the, by, by by the, the author because yeah. the they know yeah. what I'm talking about <laughs> yeah I know yeah. it gives it an, an extra sort of uh, resonance resonance doesn't yeah, it yeah, yeah. And I, well I'm listening to the Keith Richards one at the moment and he's got a couple of other he's got a Johnny Depp and some other actor doing his bits that's and then, exactly what I'm listening to at the minute. is it really <laughs> yeah it really is but when you uh, right at the end Keith comes in and he reads for about the last hour alright oh, and uh, you realise why they only gave him a little bit right. because I haven't got that far he off. struggles to read his own yeah. Words a little bit. I've got mine on CDs and it's twenty CDs thick, so it's really dull. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I've got oh, to about I... CD eight. Oh, I just did so... the Audible thing. Yeah, well, yeah, that makes more sense. It doesn't take up that much room. Yeah, and I've just got it in my phone. Then I can bang it on in the car. Anyway, um, yeah, you're about to play a tune from uh, your last yes. set album. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about that. And... This is a sort of song called "Life Without Fiction" or "Life Without Friction." There's an R in parenthesis. And this was one of the last songs I wrote before my writer's block set in. <laughs> right, nice. <laughs> it's very happy you're in a bookshop as well. Yes, yeah, so that's what I thought. Yeah, nice. Well, thanks for coming down here. And, no, uh, absolute pleasure. Yeah, looking forward to your sold out gig tonight. At the yeah, Big me too. Bookshop. It's yeah. going to be fun. Awesome. Right, uh, thanks very much. This is Big Comedy Sessions. This is Mark Morris. i
Training clear blue skies The way you wear your hair sometimes Shivers up and down my spine Then I stood up Streets and in my broken crown I look to find a quick way out And wonder what has just gone down Cause everything is moving, everything is moving to you The seasons and the tides and all of my insides to you I don't know where I'm going, don't know where I'm going with you to follow but nothing that you said is true Can't live a life without fiction You can't but help it as you go Can't disguise a contradiction And here's some news yet yeah, to soften the blow Tiny laughter line The way you wear your hair sometimes The trouble that your smile implies Something you said But really stuck inside my crawl When I decide to give what for I'm very swiftly shown the door And everything is moving Everything is moving to you And the tides and all of my insights to you I don't know where I'm going Don't know where I'm going with you You tell me not to follow But nothing that you say is true Sorry now, I'm sorry, now I'm sorry,